The chairman of the Igbo Elder Council FCT chapter, Chief Tukwe Meka Ezife said, despite the recent directive by the National Security Advisor, General Babagana Mungunu, to dismantle all checkpoints in the country, security agents still hold Southeast hostage, killing and maiming innocent youths. Security agencies now indiscriminately invade private homes at odd hours. They arrest men and sometimes shoot innocent and hapless youths and cut away their bodies. The Daily Independent newspaper of May 19, 2021, quoted the Inspector General of Police, Osman Baba, while launching Operation Restore Peace, telling the personnel, what another order are you waiting for? When Mr. President had ordered you to shoot anybody carrying AK-47, so don't sit and wait for them to come. Take attack to them. Since the above directive, the federal government has maintained a steady deployment of troops and heavy military equipment to the southeast with a brazen order reminiscent of a notorious Operation Python Dance of 2017. In the same southeast, the elders appeal to ECOWAS and the international community to take urgent steps in ending the current genocide in the southeast. What is happening is every day our boys are pulled together, hidden in any police station. Midnight, they are killed. The Igbo youths are being killed unjustly. And that's the essence of this. The international community will be brought in and look at the genocide happening in Igbo land. The intentional killing of our children, who are the Igbo of the future, is unacceptable. And it's a prayer that all that atrocity should stop. They say the use of military force has never restored peace anywhere. Hence, the need for dialogue. Komobas, AIT News, Abuja.